Welcome to Down Home Delicious. I'm Chef Suzanne. Today we're going to take a road trip to right here, Appleton, Wisconsin, because this week we're celebrating uh, celebrating Wisconsin School Garden Day. So I thought it would be a fun thing for us to do to create a culinary herb container garden together. So I've got a bunch of wonderful plants, herbs, and even a, a, a tomato plant and some fruit. And we're going to start by talking about what you need to set up your container garden. The first thing you really need is a good potting mix. Now they make uh, potting mixes that are specific for edible um, foods, herbs and vegetables, that kind of thing. They also make just an all purpose potting mix. So I'm using an all purpose potting mix. If, uh, if you have any doubt of, of what to use, use all purpose. It's gonna work just fine for you. The other consideration when doing your culinary herb garden is are you going to have it inside all year round? Are you going to be outside? I have mine indoors during the winter, but then I put it outside when the um, when it gets warm, sometime maybe in June or July. <laughs> um, so if you have a lovely well-lit window in your kitchen or in your living room, it makes a beautiful display. I think we can all agree. So um, lighting is def the second consideration that um, when you're starting your container garden. The third thing is food for your um, garden. So a good uh, edible uh, food um, for an edible garden is what you're gonna look for. They have organic, non-organic, um, not very much difference in pricing. And then the other thing about doing a culinary container garden is it's very cost effective for you at home. If you go to the grocery store and buy this little packet, it's less than one ounce of a herb. This is basil. It, this package was $3. These little plants that I bought, they cost about $3. The difference is you're going to reap the benefit all year long on all of your herbs as long as you take good care of them. And then the other really neat thing about buying your own herbs are that they all, most of them come if you find the brand that is culinary herbs at your garden center, and they have these at pretty much all the garden centers in this area. They actually have recipes on the back of each one. So um, this one is for the chives and the recipe on the back is for an herb butter, which is um, really interesting because we're actually gonna make herb butter a little bit later in the video. So this is gonna be a fun project for the whole family in it. So what types of herbs do we have? Well, there's annuals. So an annual is gonna be an herb that only grows for one season, it's not gonna come back. A good example of that would be basil. Um, the second kind is a biennial herb. Biennials only, um, they only last for two seasons and then they won't come back. And a good example of that is parsley. And I've got parsley over here that you can see. I've also got parsley in front that we're gonna plant in just a couple minutes. Um, and then the third kind is a perennial. Perennials are uh, herbs and um, fruits and vegetables that are gonna come back every year and get bigger and hardier. Good examples of that would be oregano, rosemary. Um, the one thing you really have to be concerned with with these particular herbs, they are very resilient and they come back and they get bigger and bigger every year. So if you start a container garden with these hardier perennials, you're going to wind up having to divide them and put them in other pots or some of them that will actually make it through the winters here in Wisconsin, the, like the rosemary and the oregano, uh, you can plant outside if you want to. But I just like to have them close at hand in my own garden, not have to go out into the yard and pick if I have them right in front of me when I'm cooking, it makes it very convenient. So um, those are the three types of herbs and vegetables and fruit plants you'll be looking for. So let's throw our, um, our uh, plants together in this planter. I have picked, this is an inexpensive plastic container. Um, you can get these for about $3. And then I've got just a watering dish to put underneath it that costs less than a dollar. Now, sometimes when you buy these plastic containers, you'll find that they don't have holes on the bottom to drain. And this one did not when I bought it. So I just got a drill and drilled four holes in the bottom of it. So it's gonna drain because you don't want water to build up and hold in the bottom. Uh, it can um, make the plant get mildew or mold. So we don't want that. Then we've got our potting mix set as I described earlier. I have a couple of of planters here that actually are made of a biodegradable material. It's like a burlap sack for a plant. And you peel off the plastic, so you'll see the plastic on the one that I didn't unwrap. You peel off the plastic and then you pull the bottom off and it's got just a, 
it's, it feels like cloth or it feels like a paper towel is what it really feels like. You're just going to take the bottom off and nest it down. You want to have about an inch um, between the top of your plant and the top of your um, planter so that you um, have space to add more soil but also so when you water it that doesn't overflow. The one that still has plastic on it's got a little tear piece there and then you can just unwrap and discard that and again discard the bottom. So this was our parsley, this is our basil, and this is a common sweet basil that you can find in pretty much in any of the, the um, gardening centers. There is also a basil that is a lemon basil. Um, a lemon basil is actually a hybrid that was created by using American basil and a Japanese basil. So. You want to gently pull the plant out of the container and you'll see the root cluster in the bottom. When you start to plant, you wanna take your hands and just pull it apart just a little bit to loosen the, the roots before you place it down so that they can really take off down into the bottom. Okay, and then we're going to plant our tarragon. Again, a great, a great herb to use in seafood dishes. Let me get rid of that. And we're going to loosen those roots a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and scoop a little bit more of my soil in the bottom. So you would want to just get it to the level that you want, and then you'll fill in with the dirt around it until it's nice and snug in your container. OK, now that we've talked about all these lovely herbs and the flavor profiles and how to plant them, let's make a dish. So we're going to make the herb butter. I discussed earlier how dill butter is great with salmon and other seafoods. I'm just doing a general herb um, butter here that could be used with a lot of things. in the food processor. If you don't have a food processor at home or, um, don't, or you're um, a child and your parent isn't helping you with this, you can use a fork. Just make sure your butter is really room temperature, so I'm very, very soft to be able to incorporate it. If it's not soft, you're going to need to use the food processor. So it's all blended together. You can see the beautiful bright green colors. Uh, I've got a piece of parchment paper underneath it, and then I've got a piece of plastic wrap underneath that and that's all you need. So we're going to just roll this into the parchment paper. I'm going to roll it kind of back and forth a couple times. Then you can plop this in your refrigerator or put it in your freezer. If you refrigerate it, it'll be good for two months in your refrigerator. If you freeze it, it'll last six months. So every time you want, you start to make a dish where you need your herb butter, just pull it out of the freezer and you'll have it ready to go. And how easy was that? So again, play around with it. You can even do roasted red pepper butter. There's a lot of things that you can do. So I hope you've enjoyed hearing about how to make a container garden today. Um, the whole bottom line with, with being able to do these fresh herbs and even vegetables and fruits is it's really a way to step up your game in the kitchen. It's amazing the difference fresh herbs make in any dish. So I hope you'll give it a try. Thank you for joining us again today and have a great day.